bunch of technical issues here. Are we on? Hello! We are now waiting to see if we have more playoffs. Playoffs. Everything okay? Audio okay? I think the music might be loud. Is this the music? It's the microphone? Uh, this this the music. So two players so far. Shall we wait a little bit? Okay. So the uh, this thing here, the window, I had all set up. Raise the volume of the mic. The mic is a maximum already. mic when I thought I was changing the music. <laughs> I'm an idiot. How about now? Now it's the music? Is the music much lower now? I wanna take you for a ride. Okay. Oh, levels, levels, levels. Every time I make a video, one of the biggest challenges is the balance between voice volume and music volume. Definitely needs to change this background in the future. The size of the letters. I'm scared of messing with things now. Maybe a bit too small. I want to take a far out ride. I'm 
Well, Sammy's not playing today. I whisper to him, is that for me? Anyways, if we do play, one player would be Ajili. Oh, now I'm, I'm hearing echo, that's, that's no good. That ain't no good. How was that? I'll be sure. Hello. Are you playing with us? Rodham won't even ask. He never wants to play. He's only here briefly. Oh, I should go back here when I'm thinking about it. Because I might want to change the teams. I'm going to watch it today. Alright. So we have two players so far. Mr. Gili and Mr. Julio. You can give one O for each right guess. That's a good idea. I'll do that. You're gonna start as Julie. Agile lad. Let's fight like gentlemen. Oh, there is one other player who said he would be here, so I'm waiting for him. I want to have at least three players, it's more fun. I know what, I'm gonna set this here for... I don't know, five teams. Can always add people. And this one will be Julie. Yeah, my son is usually here. Twitch. So stream question, yesterday I was testing 
to see if my computer can stream Hitman, because Hitman is free on Epic Games. So I did it for about 40 minutes. Then I went to watch the video and the video was just stuck in the initial screen. I, the audio continued, I could hear the audio from the game and from me talking, but the video never changed from the initial screen, from the start screen. Why is that? Initial screen of the game? No idea. The game screen didn't show up at all. Whatever, I guess. Ah, it, that's the weird part, it did show up. The other day I was trying Street Fighter and Street Fighter doesn't show up. But I've read something on the internet that they changed some Street Fighter configuration stuff and it's not working properly. But Hitman, the initial, the start screen appeared and it never changed. Actually, to be honest, I'm not sure the sounds were in. My voice, I am absolutely sure you could hear my voice. I'm not 100% sure about the, the audio from the game, I don't remember. But it did show up, it recorded the, the initial screen. Which is sort of the same thing that happens when I try to use um, browser media, I think. I just capture like this squeeze, I just captured the initial screen and it, it never um, it never captures what happens next. Music's so loud. So apparently we have a fourth player watching, at least he posted something, uh, he sent me a message. Uh, you will need to be posting on the chat dude, so if you're not logged in, you should log in. and let me know why you want your name to show up there how you want your name to show up there got a message I think you can use a Google account right I have a twitch account I'm not sure I doubt everybody everybody has a twitch account how are you guys logging in
is asking me how does it post in the chat. I'm not entirely sure if you need to have a Twitch account. Does everybody has a Twitch account? Really? Oh, there you go. You managed to get in. So how do you want your name to show up there? Or the same way it's there? Shima Hikaru? Ah, Japan. All right, we get there. Let's do that. There you go. So we have enough players to start. I just want to know if uh, Masami is coming or not, because he usually does. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 oh, Awesome Yeah, he was uh, Hawk Lindo on my fanfic He's <laughs> jumping up from CPM 22 Of course, my friend, you can join. We haven't started yet, so that is prime time. I shall add your name. Isaac. Probably Isaac, right? Let's just make sure. To be honest, I didn't remember that Ajili was an Omda forum.
my god, such such a good soundtrack. You know better than me, I can't identify musics. It's Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You can turn up the music volume. Really? Sounds very loud here. You wish my command. Is this still Marvel's Cup and Two? Yeah, it is. Anyways, I think that's everybody. Um, Asami has said nothing, so unless anyone knows anything about him saying that he would be here, I think there's no more reason to wait. Oh, he's coming. Okay. Okay. Then you know what? I'm gonna get some water since he's coming. I'll be right back. Alright, Sky is here. Let's add him to the thingy. I think this is everybody. Alright, <coughs> so here's the thing. Um, this is kind of like Jeopardy, except with a few differences. So, when you have control of the board, you will choose one of the categories and one of the point values, and then we get a question. Then the way you answer is by typing on the chat. Now you need to tag me. I do do at, and then the person, and then you tag me. That's the way you answer. If you don't do that, I don't consider that an answer. So you must tag me. Japinha, since it seems like you're new here on Twitch, 
hopefully you understand how the tag mechanic works maybe you want to practice so you tag me and you type your answer and the first answer uh, wins the points if you make a mistake you don't lose points so this is different from when Agile played uh, you play yes exactly like that you do at right so this symbol right here you do at and then you select the name and then you tag me and then you answer so if you don't do that it's not an answer so you can chat as as much as you want if you don't tag me yeah that's right that's right so that's an answer first answer wins the points if you make a mistake you don't lose points so you can guess as much as you want is this still marvel staff row I'm Let's go back to the beginning here. There we go. So if you make a mistake, you don't lose points. When we get to the last question of one of these categories, let's say the only Champions Corner question left is a thousand. This will be our version of the double jeopardy. So this question will be worth two thousand points. It's going to be worth double points. And when we get to the very last question of the quiz, that will be our version of the Final Jeopardy, which is a question where you can bet points, you can wager points. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I think that's about it. That's about everything. So unless everybody has any questions, we should be ready to start. Just to make sure if anyone has any questions. Alright, so the reigning champion starts with the board. Now, the last game was won by Caballo. He's not here. So, we're gonna have to go to the previous edition, and the champion of that one was Agili, if I'm not mistaken. So, Agili, you are acting as the reigning champion today. So, you start, you have control of the board. Oh, sorry, by the way, I should have introduced the categories. Let's do this professionally. So the categories today are Champions Corner, Are We the Baddies, Sega, Go Bananas, and Crikey. There you go. So Agility chooses Are We the Baddies for 400. Cole McGrath and Delsing Rowe are main characters in this series that gives players a choice between becoming heroes or evildoers. Julio says infamous, that is correct. He gets the points and he gets his first O. Uh, Gilles' answer was not considered an answer because I wasn't tagged. Uh, Isaac was right, he was just late. Julio was faster. So Julio, you now have control of the board, though I have to click this here. There you go. Go Bananas for 600! Diddy Kong was first playable in this entry in the Super Smash Bros. series. Chapinha says Melee, Agile says Bra, Isaac says Melee, Julio says Super Smash Bros. U. By the way, may, I should have said that before, there is no 
penalties for making mistakes as long as I understand that you know the answer it doesn't matter if you make grammar mistakes or if you uh, make some sort of mistake with the name of the characters like let's say I, I ask you to name the characters from a game and you forget the name but you can say oh it's that Japanese guy with the big sword and a gun I'll accept that anyways the answer is Super Smash Bros Brawl I forgot who said that I was uh, Gilly so Gilly gets the points and you now have control of the board once again the guy with a hammer yeah last quiz uh, Caballo got a got a question right by saying the guy with the hammer Sega for 600 new playable characters in Streets of Rage 4 Gilly says Frankie Raya and Cherry Hunter the answer is Cherry Hunter and Floyd Iraya I will accept that answer so Gilly wins the points you retain control of the board Gilly yeah it doesn't matter if you make a small mistake Floyd and Frank it's very close You got Iraya. Crikey for 200. Nicknamed the Crocodile Hunter, he was an Australian environmentalist and conservationist. Julio says Steve Irwin. He is correct. So Julius wins this one and another. Oh, oh, that's wrong. It's not here. It's here. There you go. You now have control of the board, Julio. Corner of the Champs for 400. The capital of Italy. Giulio, Japinha, and Sky say Rome. The answer is Rome. But Giulio was faster, so. He wins again. Yeah, delays happen sometimes. It's not worth anything, it's just for fun. Julio now says Sega for 400. The protagonist of Space Channel 5. Julio, Japinha, and Agili say Ulala. Isaac says Ulala as well. The answer is Ulala, but Julio was faster, so he wins again. It's all made up and the points don't matter. Yeah, exactly. Julio, have control of the board now. By the way, 
Does anyone wants to try to guess what we have in the categories? I think that'll be fun. Can anyone translate the categories? I mean like, oh, the SEGA category is all about this and Go Bananas is all about that because they have a theme. It's already just for fun. Ah, it's early. Maybe later. So, Julio, what's next? Crikey, for 600! The most dangerous large animal in Africa. Uh, everybody says hippo, except Agili who says dinosaur. The answer is hippopotamus. Who was the first one? I think Julio again, right? Yeah, he's on fire. Dinosaur? Really? I guess he interpreted that as the most dangerous ever, not currently. Julie, what's next? Champions Corner for 600 Velvet is a character from Dem's fighting herds with this type of elemental power It's also my character Agile says wind, Isaac says earth Sky says fire. I'm waiting to see if I have more answers. Uh, so, uh, wind, earth, fire, those are all incorrect. You can still keep guessing. Japinha says ice, Agile says water, <laughs> heart. <laughs> uh, well, the answer is ice. So this one is Japinha. You're on the board now and you have control. Remember the last one in ev in each category is a double jeopardy, so if you wanna choose something to be worth double points. It's uh what's the name of the Santa Claus thing? I forgot. Anyway, it's my character. Uh, Japinha says, reindeer, that's it, reindeer, yeah. Uh, Sega for 800. Main character in Night Trap, played by US television star Dana Plato. She was sort of a big deal when she played the game, but didn't do much after that. Oh, you should be expecting. It's a classic.
Uh, Julio says, girl singing with a tennis racket, that's... Uh, I don't know all the... I don't know enough to accept that answer. Because I don't even know who is the girl singing with the tennis racket. I'm gonna give you a clue, it's a rather normal American name, if you want to make a guess. I have Sarah, Mary, Ashley, Linda. Well, the answer is Kelly, Kelly Mad. So nobody wins this one. Now who chose that? Uh, Japinha, right? So you still have control. Are we the baddies for 200? The original slash Japanese name of Street Fighter's main villain. Isaac says Vega, Julio and Sky says Balrog, Japinha says Vega. The answer is Vega. So that's Isaac. Vega. You now have control of the board. Hey, does everybody understand where Are We The Baddies comes from? I hope you do. The reference. Go Bananas for 200! The year that Donkey Kong Country computer animated television series was cancelled. I chose cancelled instead of when it aired, because it aired in different years in different countries, but it was cancelled in the same year, so it makes it easier. Uh, so we have 1999, 1992, 7, and 2002, and 2001, and there's another 1993 there. Uh, so, uh, so there's a uh, everybody is wrong until is access 2000. So that's the right one. So let's go with that. That's the last thing he said. So 2000 is correct. Yeah, there was a CGI series. It's okay-ish. The CG must be pretty bad by today's standards. Isaac, you have control of the board. Crikey, for 400. The only living dinosaurs. Julio says birds. Sky says sharks. And Isaac says birds. Well, it is birds. Julio was faster. What's next? Champs Corners for 800. 
Power Rangers fighting game released in 2019. It says Battle for the Greed. It is Power Rangers Battle for the Greed. Mariah Gili, you have control of the board once again. Sega for 1000. Hornet, the car from Daytona USA, is a playable character in this 3D fighting game. It says Fighters Mega Mix. That is correct. Ajili takes the lead now. Transformers. Transformers was a was a good guess. But that would be too normal. Right, so Sega, the remaining Sega question will be a double jeopardy. Go Bananas for 400. The damsel in distress in the arcade game Donkey Kong. Japinha says Pauline, same thing as Julio. It is Pauline, he is correct. You have control of the board now. Sega for 200. Well, it's not 200, it's going to be 400 because this is a double jeopardy. Du -du 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 double jeopardy. Berserker, Iron Knight, Red Stealth, and Sky Cutter are characters in this Genesis game. Zack says Golden Axe. That is incorrect. Gilly says Cyborg Justice. I didn't even know this game existed. It is incorrect. Is that a real game? Cyborg Justice? Zack says Kid Chameleon or Lead Chameleon. It is Kid Chameleon. Oh, that was a double jeopardy. There you go. Zack, you have control of the board now. It's amazing you collect parts from Cyborg Animix and. Oh yeah, I remember the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played that. It was very hard. Champions Corner for 200. Savate Fighter from Double KO, my fighting game themed card game. Yeah, I did that. I did that. It says Lucas. That is incorrect.
it goes to Tyler because he's my favorite. Yeah. Funny thing, I was playing on Tabletop Simulator with a guy and his name was Tyler. This guy says Cassie. It's not Cassie. That is incorrect. I'll give you a clue. Savate is a French martial art. And it's a girl. Alright, so this one was Emma. Ah, that answer came late. That answer came late. Sorry, Sky. So, who chose this one? <laughs> Given the point, well, if Julio says, then I'll do it. There you go, Mr. Julio. Sorry you had to get involved. I'm gonna get in trouble now. Julia called my called my attention. Uh, then I guess uh, Sky has control of the board then. Yeah, you made all the avatars, and you're the one that played the most. Are we the baddies for 600? That, no, that's not the last one. No. The original leader of Final Fight's Mad Gear Gang. Japinha says Andor. That is incorrect. Sodom, that is incorrect. Agile says Belger. That is correct. It's Horace Belger. Uh, Isaac also got it right, but Agile was faster. Not to be fair, I didn't know either. What's next, Agile? Crikey, for 1,000! Oh, I thought you guys were gonna save this one. Crikey for 1,000. The maneuver crocodilians use to tear off chunks of flesh. Julio says spin. It is a spin, but they give it a name. Uh, Japinha says barrel roll. I mean, it's a death roll. I think I'm gonna consider that. I think that's that's close enough. Barrel roll, death roll. That's close enough. I'll give you that. So you have control of the board now. Cr 
Crikey for double jeopardy. Sue is one of the largest, most extensive and best preserved specimens ever found of this animal. So Crikey was all about animals. Repinha says slot. Isaac says whale. Those are both incorrect. Sky says goldfish. That is also incorrect. I'll give you a clue. It's very, very old. It says panda. Julie says mammoth. Agilis says dinosaur, turtle. Uh, those are all incorrect, but Agilis is the closest one. It is a dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur? Julie says a T-Rex. It is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Double points to Julio. You guys don't know Sue. She's famous. Sue, Sue the T-Rex. Yeah, she's super famous. It's the most complete spaceman of T-Rex. She's in a museum. And actually, Sue, I think Sue's real bones are in the museum with the exception of her head. The head was too heavy to display, so the head is a cast, but the rest of the bones are actually her bones. Pretty sure. So, Julio, now that you all know Sue, what's next? Go bananas for 800. Donkey Kong Country 3 boss, who is exclusive to the Game Boy Advance version. Uh, the one, the level with plants, the octopus-like thingy, greenish, all made of balls, but I don't remember the name. Uh, that is a pretty close description, Agilis, so I'm gonna give it to you. It's Croctopus. That was a really good description. What's happening with the songs? Yeah, that was a very complete description. What's next, Sajili? Either way, I'll give you both the points then. There you go. Ben, there you go. Double points.
Champ's corner. Oh, this is a double jeopardy. Big points now. For 2000. From Schoolgirls, the last surviving member of The Last Hope. Gilles says Valentine. That is correct. Gilles now goes to 6,000 points. I shouldn't have laughed with KKK. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, with the bet is for 1000. The main antagonist of Samurai Showdown 2019. I believe I know this song. Japan says Amakusa, that is incorrect. Zack says Samurai Show. That's incorrect. So this one is Shizuka Gozen. I think it's a uh, Gili, right? Yeah, it's a Gili. What are we going next? We only have Double Jeopardy and uh, Final Jeopardy. Are we the baddies? For 800. Double Jeopardy, D -d -d double Jeopardy, the secondary antagonist of the original Mass Effect trilogy. Oh, that it is awesome! The new Somewhere I Showdown game. I made a video on YouTube. Five reasons to play. It's really good. My biggest issue is that it's sort of heavy on my computer can barely play it. Pasta Phenom? What? No. You never played a Mass Effect. Oh, wow. One day. It's a bit difficult one, because RPGs are long. It's gonna be difficult clear time. Well, So the answer to this one is the elusive man aka Jack Harper which for some reason is super small here, no idea why. But yeah, so the elusive man or Jack Harper. And now we have the final Jeopardy. Now this will be a wager. So what's happened is you can bet as many points as you want. If you don't get it right, you lose your points. This is the only time where you can lose points. If you have less than double the value of the question, so less than 2,000, that would be Sky and, uh, well, Japan has exactly 2,000. Sky can bet up to 2,000, and everybody else can bet any value they want. To make it easier for me, 
uh, once you place your bet, you also just at the same time just post what will be your value if you get it right and wrong. So I don't have to do math later. Everybody does your own math. I mean, yours is easy, but just as an example, then Julio, then you say that uh, bet 4,000 right, 8,000 wrong, zero. Or not. Okay, uh, so everybody bet. Uh, there's four, one missing. Oh, well, it's it's a good question. I like this one. It's one of my favorite questions. Who's missing? His axe missing. Isaac is the final Jeopardy. Uh, you can bet zero, yeah, if you want. So is your bet officially zero then? Okay, zero it is then. Everybody is locked. And the final Jeopardy is... Start of the documentary, The King of Kong, this arcade player had his records invalidated by Twin Galaxies in 2018. Go Bananas was all about Donkey Kong. So there's this Donkey Kong player from the late 80s. He set a bunch of world records in Donkey Kong and other arcade classic games. And they made a whole documentary about how amazing he is. And then in 2018, people started to question that his records were not real. That he was cheating. And they had this major investigation and Twin Galaxies which is the organization that set the records in the end decided that he was cheating and they invalidated all his records and they also banned him from ever competing in records ever again and then the Guinness World Record also did that and they cancelled all his records but this dude uh, uh, he used emulators they say that's I'm gonna say they claim that he used emulators because here's the thing this dude he is fighting for his life for these records he is suing everyone that says anything about him there's a bunch of youtubers that made videos covering this and he sued them he's suing everyone he sued uh, the Guinness Guinness World records and he got those records back so he's now back on Guinness he's not back on Twin Galaxies though they didn't change that but guess what he's suing them so I'm gonna say he cl they claim that he used emulator you know just in case he's watching he is famous in the speedrun community yeah, I really should probably know this one Adam Sandler from the movie Pixels well I gotta say, tell you that I like Adam, Adam Sandler more than I like this guy. I hate Adam Sandler. I'm gonna accept a description of how he looks about that. 
because he, he has a very particular style that if you know him you'll be able to to say <laughs> looks like Jesus or oh, is that your answer you need to tag me two eyes playing safe Julie says Jesus He also has a fairly common American name Should I just give the answer? White guy, two eyes. I'm amazed how Isaac seems very determined in saying that he has two eyes. Um, so. Let's let's do it like this. Some of you are are close. Um his name should, should I give another clue or just give the answer and we'll see what we do. Another clue. Okay, I can give you. I can either tell you the first letter of his name, or I can say that he. You can find his name in this other particular series. What would you prefer? The first letter of his name, or another series where you can find his name? Oh, one one. We have series, we have ladder, another series. Oh, another ladder. Jesus, now we need now we need uh we need someone to to decide. It's going to be series or or ladder. Isaac, is, is it series or ladder? Letter. All right. So here it goes. The first letter of his name is B. B as in ball. Bob. That is incorrect. Burton. That that was a strange guess. Incorrect. Isaac says, "Oh, it's Billy." It's Billy Mitchell. Now Isaac, however, bets zero. So he wins nothing. Uh, but everybody else loses some points. Now what we have there? Sky bet 190. So he goes to 10. And I think everybody else went all in, right? No, not Agile. Julio all in, Japinha all in. So you guys go to zero. And Agile is gonna make me do math now. 6397. So three. There you go then. 
So that's the final score. Isaac wins with a zero points question. It was Billy, Billy Mitchell, or Robert, I guess. But Billy Mitchell, the supposed cheater for legal reasons. I don't know if I should take Julius O's out of his name now. But Julio ended up as Julio. Yeah, Max Roll, that, that's a good point. Anyways, guys, so this was my quiz of everything, third edition. Thank you all for playing. And we'll see each other some other time. How do we do one of those raid things now? Let's do one of those raid things. Never done that. Yeah, well, next time. Bye guys. Until next time.